I had to do it. Joe called and said, hey, good fight with Fabricio. You want to fight George? Basically, it's like a number one contender. You win, you guys would fight for number one contender afterwards. Or if it's an amazing fight, you fight for the belt. Something, like, something in that situation. It was definitely put you in a number one contender fight. Uh, he, uh, I was like, I'm getting leg surgery, meniscus surgery. It's like eight weeks out or nine weeks out. When I'm done, it'll be eight weeks of training. Seven weeks of training, the eighth week will be the fight. And he was like, uh, he was like, do you want it? And I was like, uh, yeah, but I don't know how long I'm gonna be. He's like, well, we'll take one week off. That's the eighth week. You know, that's the eight week. You have seven weeks. Then you take that week off. One, two, three, four, five, six weeks of training. And there's your fight. I'm like, but that ain't enough. I was either you, now or never. <laughs> I was like, guess it's now. And I only had two weeks off from my last fight too, by the way. So that's the worst thing a fighter could do. You need at least a full 30 days off completely. Uh, maybe more. I'd say two months off, then do a training camp so you can physically rest your body and be ready and properly prepared for what you got to do so you don't burn out. I always tell my fighters that. And all the ones that do what I just said, all lost. And my leg wasn't fully healed. I never forget it. I probably had the, I don't think I had the brace on going into the, the week of, but that knee pad was on me every single day. I think I even wore a knee pad. I don't think I wore a knee pad in the, ca in the ring, in the cage. But I, I, I did wear it every day just to make sure it was protected. Good. I was healthy. I was able to train. I felt fine, and I had no disrespect to George. But the moment I saw George inside that octagon, I'll never, ever forget it. And I said it before, it's the, when you know life is at its realest, like when you watch your children be born, that is like the moment of fighting someone in the cage. Everyone leaves, and the guy's like, are you ready? Are you ready to see your child born? Are you ready at that moment in your life? You're like, am I ready right now? That's what fighting's like. That, at that moment, that's the best way to describe it. And I said to myself, I'm dead. I'm not ready. Yeah, let's take this. Let's rock and roll. That was the worst time. I, I, I never got it. I was like, wow, I'm screwed right now. Because I knew my leg wasn't ready. I knew it wasn't ready going into the cage. I felt it walking. Down. I felt my leg wasn't strong. My left leg wasn't strong. Because from the last walk to this walk, I felt I didn't feel the same, same person. And then he punched me and pushed me. I fell over my knee and pop. I heard, I heard it snap. And I'm sitting there. And you, can, and you can see it on the video too. I'm holding my leg and he's just punching me in the face. And I'm like, are you going to stop this fight? And when I realized he wasn't going to stop it, I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And I got back up and I started fighting. That was the first, round, first round. First two minutes in, I, t I fought with a torn uh, ACL. I finished the fight. I knocked him out in round three. At the very end, 50 seconds left. Need him in the face and boom, hit him with a left hook. And he went right down. And I went to hit him and then the bell. That's how I lost. I would have won. I need like five seconds. I felt like I was a freaking idiot for fighting and I was had a torn ACL. And just because I was so mad that I lost, they say the, the cuts here, which I don't really believe, on the bridge of your nose, like when you get stitches are the worst ones, and they hurt so bad. Let me get you some Novocaine. I was like, no Novocaine. He's like, why? I was like, I don't deserve it. So he did like seven stitches on top of my nose with no Novocaine. He's like, you okay? I'm like, fine. He's like, holy dude. I'm like, that can't. And like, now I think about it, it doesn't hurt. Now I want to cut myself with a knife and see if I could take the pain. Because I was so pissed I lost the fight. And my leg hurt. I'm like, my leg's broken. Uh, you're at seven stitches on my nose ain't gonna hurt and I'm really mad you know what I mean like I was so mad I lost to the ugliest kid in the world the worst thing was the ugly alien looking dudes you know ugly mother he is I want that printed too he is an ugly son of a bitch stupid ignorant he really is you gotta talk to him he's a real ass he really is people hate him I hate him